What's up fellow YouTubers, subscribers, and viewers. Welcome back to my channel, Out of Context. I'm your host, GD. We're playing Backpack Hero, an inventory management roguelike that can be found on Steam. Link in the description. Before we start, let me address my intent to play. Everyone has their own style of gameplay, and I will tell you mine so you can simply enjoy. I like playing purse on standard mode. It's the easiest way to have fun and a challenge simultaneously. Every run is a multi-loop run, if I can help it. Clubs, knight's armor, gold, and energy are king in the early game. Assassin's Dagger is king in the late game. I compete to succeed and like to play fast, but I will always slow down if I feel the need to play with precision or to explain my next move. That's all for now. Enjoy the video. That is my opinion. Let me just take a quick look. Oh, okay. Yeah, we burn through time when we're playing. Gotta say. It's almost like we're dedicated video gamers. Okay. For each adjacent or diagonal ring... Okay. Now this is another item that I've never really picked up. And I don't think that I'm going to. But it is interesting. It is interesting. To say the least. Could even peel off a little bit of our blocking. So we, we could actually do that. We could get rid of one of these gloves or something else here. We could even get rid of this or we could get rid of that. I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. If we wanted to do this. So we could get this. We could have this. And if we ended up getting rid of some items to do that, we could get these. If haste is added on to them, then we have a means of scaling additional blocking on us uh, for, you know, to uh, further combat and such. But here's the thing. These will be here for as long as we're still alive and still on this floor. So maybe what I'm going to do... Um, but. I should, probably should sell some of these items, like these two-slot items, which are useless to me. And we'll... We could sell another one, but we'll save it for now. We'll save it. I'm going to put the die up here. I'm going to put the key up here. Excuse me. We could get it now. It would be interesting. It would be interesting. And I kind of feel like I want to buy these, but I'm also curious. Okay. All right. I see what you're doing, game. I see what you're doing. And it's fine. I accept it. I accept it. That is tempting. But here's the thing. If I have structures and I have a bunch of rings too, it's... Well, it wouldn't be impossible. It would just be difficult in order to make it all work. In order to fit it all in, if you know what I mean. If you don't know what I mean, then that's fine too. And here's the thing. Once I find something that's able to outscale this as far as damage is concerned in the short term, like a Assassin's Dagger, for example, um, I'm probably not going to have this anymore, which means I'm probably not going to have this anymore, which 
probably means that I'm some of these things I'm just not going to have anymore. Like the club I'm probably not going to have anymore. That is going to free up a lot more space. Oh, and I won't need this anymore either. Um, but yeah, we're still figuring that out. So you know what? I won't... Uh, I did put... No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't put the... Um, I didn't put the stuff on. I didn't, I didn't put the sauce on the bricks. There we go. Now I'm generating three haste per turn, which I don't believe applies on the first turn, but will apply on the second and third and fourth and so on and so forth turns, which will be good. save this. I might want to save it. I ain't saving that. Energy, energy, energy. I always go for energy. It's just the better thing to do. In my opinion, of course. So, they're not going to do enough damage to actually cause me significant hurt, pain, distress, or suffering, so let's see here. I am going to scratch, use that, so there we go. You know what? I'm actually going to focus on this guy. Because he'll be a pain in the in the butt. I also have to remember I have this. So if I am running short on blocking and I don't want to get hurt, I can always use this. I can always do that. But I want to target this guy with the scratch first. Because the scratch is going to peel damage off. Or peel the, um, the dodge off. Is that a mistake? Might have been a mistake. We'll see. I don't think... Yeah, I think we're just going to do that. Here we go. safe soid. There we go. Venom sword. I don't think I have good use for a venom sword. Probably still gonna grab it, though. Then again, then again, there might not be another shop on this floor. So it might actually be better, even though it is more money. Reroll. Don't worry about that. That's a glitch. See? Unless it wasn't, then it was going to look really ridiculously stupid. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's... This is an interesting item. It's a very good item. Very interesting. So, now here's the thing. This adds additional blocking by one 
per space to the left. So that would be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These give 0.5, but because these are heavy, well, unless I moved the rings over to here. Um, well, currently, I don't think there would be any detriment to me doing that. No, there would be no detriment to me doing that. So what would end up happening is I get rid of that. I put that there. This is elevated because this is heavy, but this is heavy as well. So this can't fall down below because otherwise, see, but you can do that. And now this is adjacent with this adjacent or diagonal. So it's getting additional blocking. So I'm just getting straight up extra blocking. Now, something else perhaps to consider. Again, do I want to just add additional blocking like that? And I don't think I do. So I think I'm just going to say goodbye to that. Now, I was going to say the only reason why this might not be good is if I get another structure, then I'm probably going to want to stack them two by two to give them uh, more adjacency. That way they just give more blocking per, uh, per brick. But we don't have to worry too much about that. Oh, and I also have to remember that I think I can sell one more item from the store. I think so. I'm pretty sure. I'm kind of somewhat confident about that. Let me just double check. Yes, I'm pretty sure I can sell one more item. And that's fine. Now this... Sorry, I keep looking back at it. I don't... I don't think so. It, it would be interesting. It would be interesting. But I feel like it's kind of too late to go for this kind of build. I, I just don't think it's going to scale well. I don't think so. But I'm still on this floor, so if I change my mind, then I change my mind. Because who am I to take fun away from my audience? Okay, I think these guys give the really weird curses. And by the really weird curses, um, well, we'll find out. We'll see if they do. Uh, nope, that's not the weird curse I'm thinking about. They are going to alternate curses, though. And that's going to be a, a pain in the bootox. That's not actually how I sound. <clears throat> I don't know why I had to specify that. I don't sound like that! When an adjacent item is used, negative one gold. Well, you know what? I'll take that. Now, the weird ones that I'm worried about are the ones that destroy helmets on the next turn or footwear. But since I don't have any footwear, I don't have to worry about those ones. But it's but the ones that destroy helmets, that could be an issue I don't want to deal with. And see, look at that. I'm stacking up haste. And so for every item that I have that generates blocking, a flat amount of blocking... Uh, equal to the amount of haste that I have is added. And so I have a lot of items that are giving me blocking, and so... And that works for these as well. So I'm generating blocking now. A good amount of it. 
if I if I may add damage. Ew! I don't want to take that. Mm, but I'm going to... Fine. Ah! It's painful. Oh well. We'll just have to make them suffer for what they've done to us. And by us, I mean me. Um... Is this safe? Can I do that? Absolutely. Boom! Chipped sword. I actually haven't seen this item in quite some time. Not that it's that big a deal. It's not, like, that great an item or anything. No, sir. It's just an item. I don't think I want any of this, no. Absolutely not. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. He... So, he, um... I don't know if he's going to be that big a problem. He might be. It depends. Yeah, because for him, I might actually need a cleansing bomb. And if that's the case, then I might actually feel more comfortable um, getting rid of this and getting a cleansing bomb in its place. Because he generates rage on himself, like he adds rage to himself. these guys. So, I don't know how much luck I can stack up in a fight, but uh, if I... Because I can kill... So there's like... What is it? There's him. And then two. And then three. Four. Five. So there's like five enemies total with one of these. So if I'm getting a kill with each of them, that's like ten kills adding great luck. I don't know if that's actually going to do anything, but that's... It would be impressive. Du, 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 du. 
I think What is that? Is that 85? 85? Boom. I'm gonna have to be careful. I don't wanna spawn too many enemies at one time. spawn too many enemies. Okay, I think I can actually... I'll need to be kind of careful about this. Or maybe... Maybe. Just maybe. I forgot about that. Oh, another one of those. Du -du 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 -du. So do that there. Can't use that. Because if I did, that would be... Uh, Di disaster or -es. Oh, and I have to remember, yeah, him. I have to remember him. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da um. How much is this doing? Too much for that. You know what? Okay, well, um, that and that. Um, I will definitely reorganize for that. Why? Because it's free additional max HP. It is free additional max HP, friends, and I'm going to take that whenever I can. I am going to strike this man down. Or am I going to strike this man down? I think I'm going to strike this man down. Because then he's going to spawn something here, which I can attack with my weapons.
Oh, right. So after you use this once, you actually want to use this once first so that this gets returned to one. So because it starts off at one, you use it, it becomes two, you use this, it goes back to one, you use it again, and then if you do use it for a third time, it goes up to two, but that's a total of four energy used. But if you do it the other way around, if you use it once and then twice, it goes from two energy to three energy, you reduce it with this, and it goes back down to two energy, and so it still costs more. Haha, -ha, mathematics. Something I've never claimed to be good at. Um, <clears throat> okay, well that was an, a learning experience. Uh, I can't use these because they do too much damage. So the only solution is to add more damage to our weapons. Until the damage we're dealing is absolutely ridiculous. I think I'm going to buff my weapons anymore. Oh. Bitches behold. Now, if I do move these this will no longer be adjacent to this. And in order to make it adjacent to this, I would have to make everything else not adjacent. But you know what? I'm not... I'm... I'm mm. Excuse me. I'm not thinking I actually care that much. That I care enough to care. We got dark waystone weapons get weakness this combat it's a legendary item hello oh, okay there we go the game doesn't like us anymore is is bugging out That's not going to be adjacent there anymore, but that's not that big a deal. Actually, no, that's better right there. Um, and now we can move that there, which is going to take away some damage there, but I don't think that's a big deal either. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Because now this is going to give two, this is going to get two, this is going to get two, and this is going to get two. As opposed to just this, and this giving one, and then this giving two. So now we basically, well, doubled the amount of blocking that we get from this. More or less. Yeah. And I think, for the time being, if we find more rings, we pick them up, because that's just... Oh! Okay, so... This could be good, because sometimes... She gives a book... Warrior Spellbook! 
Now, I'm probably not going to use the Warrior Spellbook, but it's a legendary item. What did I pay? 8 gold, and I'm going to get 17, so I get 9 total back. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. And we're still on this floor, so we can get more haste. What do we got here? We got Shuriken Forge. And empty diagonal slots. Yeah, so I don't have, um, but I don't know, we'll have to see, because I may end up fighting, um, what's-his-face by just using the club multiple times, although, hmm, actually, that might not be a good idea. No, not really. I think... This, this, and this. That'll take up two energy, and then I use the rest on Waystone, I guess. That might be the only way to do it. With that said, I don't believe that I am in currently the best position where I am now. I could be in trouble. Could be trouble. But I still have one more floor before I have to run into the boss. So we will hope that uh, things kind of sort of work out for us. Another die? I would actually be, uh, dying to- no. Forget you heard that. But I think I will buy that. I think I will. You know what? can't sell any more items, but that's not a big deal. I wasn't actually going to sell that. I was just picking it up to see if, yeah, I won't take any more items. This is kind of a good item, but you need to have a full section up here. Like, you need to have it stacked high in order for it to, to, to give you good value. Okay, so, what do we have here? Do we even want to bother Yeah, let's do it like this. Um, I think I want to get rid of this guy. Because he does some nasty stuff. I'm not sure if I want to get rid of this guy before I get rid of this guy, though. That's what I don't know.
I'm not going to be able to take him out on the next turn, though. So maybe... I'm going to go for this guy. Because I think he can give you curses. I don't remember 100%, but I think he does. But like I said, I don't remember. I never claimed to be good at this game. Um... Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. I, I was thinking, oh, I didn't use that, but I actually did. Um... Since I'm going to be reducing... Um, let's go with this guy next. Then I'm going to use... This here. Then this here. Then... Oh wait, no, he's a summoned enemy. Well, it doesn't matter. It's not like I get a penalty for attacking summon enemies with... You know, Jason Armor gets... And shields get negative three blocking. My goodness, that sounds that sounds tragic. That sounds awful. Good luck with that. Okay. So if I hit you with that, and then I hit you with that, and then I hit you with that, you go down, and then I never have to deal with you again. That sounds like winning to me. Actually, Cleansing Potion, now that I think about it at this point, I don't really want, because if I'm stacking haste, then I'm, I can basically get rid of all my haste, and then I won't have the same amount of blocking later on in the fight. So this actually isn't a good thing for me to have. <coughs> Excuse me. Did I know that? Of course I knew that. I was just checking to see if you guys were following along. Oh, this is perfect. Because I think... Unless I end up giving myself too much damage with this, but I don't think I'm that worried. Let's do it this way. I think we do that. Perfect. We're going to get rid of that now. Create shurikens and empty spaces in this row and column. Uh, no. No, sir. Could get this for now. More mana? I don't think there's any kind of mana build that would actually be really useful for us. Wait, hold on a second. What did I grab? Oh no, this this is this will be worth it. Another key. Surely you jest. I do not. Stop calling me Shirley. Uh, that or that. Throwing cuppies at people is kind of fun. Yeah, throwing cuppies at people is fun. Did I already... I think I did. Yeah. See, that's what happens when you're on the floor for so long that you... Forget what the heck you were doing. Yeah, so we still have that, so we can deal with that. The only thing we wouldn't really be able to deal with is burn, but we have blocking and we have haste, so that should not really be a problem at all. 
With that said, bats are a pain in the bottom. Weakness doesn't really do anything to them, but I think I'm still going to use my club anyways. And I think that means I'm not going to use... Actually, no, I think it's still useful to, to use Scratch. You know what? Let's just do it like this. We scratch, do as much damage as possible with that. Then we use this, and then we use that. Now maybe it's these guys that I'm thinking of that give those weird curses. No, no, it's... Those are the poison curses. Those aren't the weird ones. Oh, we definitely need to use this, because taking that much poison damage is not a good or fun idea. Secret tunnel. Now thing about vampirism is it won't actually heal them unless it breaks through shield. And I'm not even sure, like, even if you have, like, let's say, if this is hitting you for 20 and you have 19 blocking, I'm not sure if it hits you for the vampirism then either, uh, if it, you know, hits your HP, but it has to go through blocking. I think it has to just go through HP. Right? So there has to be no blocking whatsoever in order for Vampirism to actually heal you. And that works both ways. That works for any of your Vampirism items or their Vampirism attacks. I think. I could be wrong about that. And if I am, I'm, I, I terribly apologize. Da, 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 da. I mean, it's going to have to go through that anyways, so it's not that big a deal. But yeah, this is why you need some form of scaling something in order to, to deal with... And, like, look at the amount of poison. Like, there was a point in time game where the, the Swamp Buckler didn't exist. So you wouldn't actually be able to remove poison from yourself unless you have a, had a cleansing potion or whatever. So really the only way to deal with these kinds of enemies was if you were able to get something like, I don't know, an assassin's dagger early on in the game and then start stacking it up and then be able to do lots of damage so that these guys couldn't just waylay you because that would, uh, that would end your run and you would be sad. Or I would be sad because I was the one playing. Unless you guys are playing, too. Da, 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 da. Remove all that. Da, 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 da. It's a good thing these guys' curses aren't that dangerous. Because, like I said, some curses are really nasty. Like, uh, I think the one in particular I'm thinking of is... It's two energy costs, just like this. But when you remove it, it also deals five damage to yourself. Which, itself, isn't that bad. But the other problem is, if you leave the curse on you... Or rather, if you take the curse... And if your next turn rolls around, an item of yours may get destroyed. And it could be a helmet, it could be footwear. But the problem with those is you can't use energy to dispel them because you need to wait till your, ne till your next turn. So if you had special helmets like these, they could get destroyed. And uh, that wouldn't be good. So you'd actually have to take the damage from the curse itself in order to prevent from, in order to, you know, deal with that. Which wouldn't be good. 
it would not be good. Um, I think I do this, and then I do it once more, and then I do that, and then I do that. Wait. Oh, did I forget to remove that? My bad. Whoops. I should heal it back pretty soon. Um. But since we're kind of stalling. Uh, we could heal up to full HP here. Well, we got another fight. So the robber raccoon might actually cause us a problem here. Because with these fights so far, we've been able to sort of build up our damage over time and use our blocking to deal with them. But the problem is with the robber raccoons, they take one turn, they take your gold, and then the next turn they run away. So they're not so much that they're dangerous, but they're a pain in the ass because they take your gold. And you don't want them to do that because that's mean. Now, there is no... I believe they're called hair defenders. So there's nothing to prevent me from directly attacking them. So, I might try and finagle my way through doing enough damage in order to basically take them out. Um, heal this little bit up and I think I can just end the fight now and there we go the poison was there but the poison was not dealt so this is an interesting item and I'm probably um let me think about it I don't think I actually want that it's not that it's bad. I just don't think I can make good use of it. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. I can probably get rid of that. Or do I want that? I might need it to deal with the raccoon. The coony raccoon. What about this? This is a lot of keys. I could sacrifice some of these keys, and maybe I will. Because the need for keys isn't exceptionally high just yet. That could be a mistake. That could absolutely be a mistake. Okay, so now I have to figure something out. So... I think This is actually the same... Yeah, that's interesting.
So I think this is the best option I have for now. And we'll just have to see if I can get enough damage. So what is that now? That's 90... One hundred and one hundred and uh, so that's ninety and then one hundred and twenty nine. I think we scratch, then do that, then do this, then do this, boom, we get our gold back. We had just enough damage to get it done. And that is wonderful. Should be enough. Peel that off. Uh, but I think I'm going to deal with this guy first because his blocking is a pain in the buttocks. We will switch back over to the house. mistake here. Okay, that's actually good. I feel more comfortable fighting the um, the uh, Badger Boss, I believe he's called. Badger Boss. We are actually not getting a lot of value out of this anymore. So I think I'm going to swap it for that. Because for the time being, that's just extra energy. And extra energy is absolutely um, something that I want. I hope you enjoyed the content. There will be more to come in the future. Forever forward in March. This is GD signing off. Here's our outro. Until next time.